So I think everybody knows a little girl who has was horse crazy. That's fairly common. I, I think I was in the realm of that. I was kind of extreme. I was super extreme, kind of to a freakish point of loving the horses and, and being obsessed with horses since I think three. And so that was my primary passion in life from age three all the way up to age 18. And so I got to that point where you're, you know, graduating and everyone's like, what are you going to do with your life? And I couldn't figure it out. I did not know what I wanted. Uh, I went to different colleges and I did the whole testing and the career counseling and I had everyone try to help me and nothing sounded right. Like it just sounded so horrible, like a life sentence. And so I found this little college in Cheyenne. I had to drive down here in the middle of a winter and try out for the program. It was a in-person writing interview for this college. And I got in and decided that was my big adventure. You know, I was 18 years old, leaving home for the first time. Um, so I decided to move 1,200 miles away from anything and anyone I'd ever known in this pursuit of this horse dream. And I didn't know anybody here. I didn't have any family here, but I had horses here and that's really all, it, all that mattered at that point. Um, I worked at the barn uh, and my job every morning after rodeo practice the night before was to scrape the liquid cow manure out of the alleyways. And there would be like about six inches and you'd have like this scraper on the concrete alley. And there was this crew of electricians and I noticed there was this guy wiring. And she was in there cleaning out horse pins or mucking out pins from the rodeo or the roping the night before. And I just, she just immediately caught my eye like, wow, look at, you know, look at her. I don't remember a lot of those first interactions. Apparently for him, it was like love at first sight. Oddly enough, didn't, I was pretty shy, I guess. I didn't have a way to just like run up and be like, hey, let's go out on a date or something. So I kind of stalked her for a little bit, figured out where she, what she drove and left a flower there and a note for her with my phone number on it and she called me. <laughs> so the rest was history. 